Hey guys, this was the first part of my sort of Avon haul <laughs> since becoming a rep in August. I have accumulated a shocking number of products either through ordering them for myself or um, purchasing things through demo products to share with my customers or gifts with purchase kind of things. So yeah, um, this I, I couldn't fit it all in one video. I definitely couldn't. I just gathered together all the sort of perfume products that I have and um, there's no way I could fit all of my my purchases or accumulation into one video. So I'm just going to start with the perfumey type products and quickly run through them. I have a bunch of sort of what we call like linen sprays um, but they are room linen and body sprays. Um, I have quite a few of those. <laughs> we have the lavender and chamomile one which I really like. Um, I have this one or I've got the sleep spray which I will quickly show you because um, I have several several balls of this kicking about my house. This is the Planet Spa Sleep Serenity Pillow Mist. It's a, sort of like a dupe for the This Works one. This Works one is like like £16 or something and this is like four fifty, and it does just as good a job. <laughs> and it's often on special. I picked mine up when they were, were half price or 2 25 Sometimes they go as low as like one ninety nine. So yeah. Or you can get this guy which is also just as good as that and these are only one fifty. Um, but I really like it and Luna likes it. Every time I put on my perfume, she goes, it smells nice. And this is, um, what I spray on her. She likes the lavender one. So I spray some on her t-shirt for her and she walks around going, it smells nice. And it makes her happy. So we're, we're fine. <laughs> um, I have the vanilla and sandalwood, which... As the name suggests, smells like vanilla and sandalwood, and it's a very nice warm scent. It's not a too sweet of vanilla, um, but I really, really like this one. It's also one of my best sellers. Um, I apologize. I'm going to interject like miniature sales pitches in with all these products. Um, this is the blackberry and vanilla. This is one of our most recent additions, and you do smell more of the black currant. Sorry, blackberry. I always get the two confused. Blackberry. You know, you smell more of the blackberry than the vanilla. But it's not like... A lot of people think it's going to smell like Ribena kind of thing or like fruit juice. It's not as like, as like sweet as that. It's a very soft, sort of cold winter morning kind of fruit smell. Sort of like what you would find in like a candle scent. Like if this wasn't a candle, I would love it. I've also got the two new ones that we brought out for Christmas. This is the frosted almond one and there's also one called Warm Fig um, which is in the living room right now and it smells really nice. It's a really nice rich and warm smell. Um, frosted almond. Again it's it's not like a very strong sweet almond smell. It doesn't like you're not smelling it and going oh that smells like a, a Battenberg or something. It's just a really nice soft almond scent, almost like um, like an almond slice kind of thing. Maybe not quite as sweet as that either, but I do really like that smell. And then lastly, we have coconut star fruit, which again is another one of my best sellers. This and the shower gel and body lotion that go along with it, I sell a lot of those. And. Um, This, I will say that for me selling a lot of this, I don't, I don't get the, I don't get the appeal. <laughs> I don't get the appeal. It doesn't, it is the least coconutty smelling coconut thing I have ever smelled. And I'm not sure what star fruit's meant to smell like anyway. It has got a slight citrus to it. I'm guessing that's the star fruit. But it's almost like a nothingness, like... It smells like something you would put on a baby. But you know, other people like it. I'm not going to knock other people liking it, but I'm not a big fan. Um, I picked it up as a 
like a demo product for customers because so many people were asking about it because it was our promo over summer. Um, I just, I don't get it. I don't get it, guys. <laughs> we also had a recent launch of body mists. Um, these were kind of to compete with um, Victoria's Secret and Impulse now do body mists. Um, like all the all the brands that when I was a teenager used to do the body sprays, like Impulse, So, Charlie, um, they all now do spray body sprays, um, like liquid body sprays, um, sort of eco-friendly than doing an aerosol can, I suppose. Um, so we've brought out our top selling scents in a body mist. The only thing, the only one I wish we did in a body mist was Far Away because I love Far Away so much. <laughs> um, it's the only, it's, I've only got this guy. I don't actually have a bottle of, of the actual perfume yet. It's the one I keep meaning to get and end up getting something else instead. Uh, so we have the Incandescence which actually smells a lot like Donna Karen's Cashmere Mist. It's really, really nice. I have this as um, a roll-on deodorant as well. This is Pure Blanca, which is... Oh, I stuck my face in that too quickly. It's definitely more of like a clean floral scent. It kind of reminds me a bit of like a ghost smell. It's really nice. It's definitely more of a, like an office appropriate kind of scent. And we have Cherish, which if I, uh, my room is gonna stink. Oh, I've not actually smelled this one. <laughs> it's kind of like a citric floral, like a fruity citricky floral. I quite like that actually. I've also got little sample size, um, like we've just finished doing like a gift with purchase thing where you were getting like a travel size of this smell and I have a few left over. I might keep one for me. <laughs> like that. Um, then we have a little back black dress which is um, definitely one of our top 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 sellers. I'll probably smell the lotion better. No, I've, I've been smelling too much today. I think this is more of like a Okay, I've definitely been smelling way too much. I can't actually smell the smell like. I have the um the new scent. This is the little black dress party, and this is very strong on the Bulgari rose. Um this is definitely more of a like a, a soft floral kind of thing. It's not as soft as this guy. It's got a bit more of like a a warm base to it. It's a bit a bit sexier. But this is really nice. Um, if you like Stella McCartney, you might like the party edition. And lastly, we have Perceive, which smells like Parma violets. <laughs> Every time I've, it's, it looks like Parma violets as well, because it's like purple. But it does. It smells like Parma violets. I really like it. On to actual bottles of perfume, as I've already shown you, I have a travel size of the little black dress and a little black dress party full size, which is really nice. Um, our standard perfume size is a 50ml bottle and you usually get a really good price on all our perfumes. Like full price, this is I think it's £13, but it's almost never £13. You can usually either get it on a discount or two for 13 but never you can almost always get away without paying full price for anything in an Avon catalogue. Um, I got this guy. This is the Avon Luck Limitless for her. Um, I actually, this was an accidental purchase and I liked it and didn't, we just didn't put it back. <laughs> and it's a very like fresh zingy green scent. It kind of reminds me of something that Gucci would do. It's very, very nice. Very chic. I have a man scent here. This is Mesmerized Black for him. Um, I bought it because um, I had a few people ask about men's scents, particularly this one. So I've 
I have a bottle to keep about. And I also want to get a bottle of the black suede, partially for me because I like the smell of it. But this is a very um, bright peppery smell. It's got a zesty sort of a lemony-ness to it. I really like it. I do sell quite a lot of this as well. Um, I do kind of like that it's in like sort of a hip flask shape. But there's that. I have two little travel size containers. This one is the Avon Illum Illuminata, which is our most recent launch for women's fragrances. Um, I do have a full size bottle of this, but it's one that Luna runs away with all the time, so I don't know where it is. It's very, very nice. This perfume actually smells like Gucci too. Um, I've also had heard um, other people compare it to the new, I think it's Woman by Calvin Klein. But it's a really, really nice smell. Um, and it, the bottle kind of looks like a, like a dime, like a, like a gem. It's really pretty. Um, then we have the look for her. Which actually kind of smells. It smells like a sweet. Almost like a refresher. Like a refresher bar. Hmm. It's quite nice. <laughs> I actually got this in a set. It came in the, we did a breast cancer set and it came with this, a bottle of bubble gum bubble bath, which I've already used up. It came with an eyeliner and some color correcting pearls and a few other things. Um, but yeah, I don't think I would purchase the full size of this. I actually just keep it about for customers. I don't wear it myself. This is Eve Confidence. Our Eve range is actually endorsed by Eva Mendes, which I don't actually know um, until very recently. This was actually um, an incentive gift. Um, I hit my sales targets for the first three campaigns and I got this as a gift. Um, I actually really, really like it. Um, it, it actually kind of reminds me of a quite high-end perfume. These guys are probably the only fragrance that you might never get on sale the the eve range they're almost never on sale and there are more premium rate one as well so they're somewhere around the 15 16 pound mark for a, for a bottle which i don't mind paying because it does smell good so when i run out of this I, i'm gonna purchase a new bottle of it because i really really like it um i can't there's, i've just smelt too many too many. You can tell by how much I've used of it that I like it. We'll just go by that. We have the Imari Fantasy, which I actually bought because it kind of reminds me of Shalimar. <laughs> um, more like Shalimar initial. Um, the actual Imari scent smells more like Shalimar than this does. Um, it's not exact dupe, but it gives me the nice. It gives me similar feels to wearing Shalimar, and if it means I can stretch out my Shalimar, then I will. Because um, Shalimar is pretty pricey um, these days, so we will buffer it out with this guy. I have all four fragrances from the Rares range. Um, really huge fan of the Rares range. The only one I'm not too keen on is Rare Pearls, which, oddly enough, I sell the most. Sell the most of this one. It just has such a I think it's magnolia scent to it. It really reminds me of things like Elizabeth Taylor White Diamonds, like Estee Lauder Pleasures, um, some a similar to a Calvin Klein one, like Calvin Klein Beautiful, or is it no Estee Lauder Beautiful? It has that sort of vibe to it. Um, that the vibe that some people love and other people think smells like happy. Um, we have rare per rare platinum. No, I can't. I can't quite smell. 
we have rare gold which actually kind of reminds me a bit of Jador from Dior which is you know great and then we have rare amethyst which actually kind of reminds me of um Terry Mugler's alien there is another fragrance that we have that's that's supposed to smell like alien and that is the faraway rebel they both are similar they're not exact dupes um but if you're looking for that sort of vibe these are really good ones to try out um i do have a couple of other faraway scents i have the faraway infinity which is i'd say it's my least favorite like i don't hate it by any means but it's definitely my least favorite it has a bit of a an Elnet vibe if that makes sense it, like if you spray too much of it it does smell a bit like hairspray this stuff I freaking love this is like oh I, I don't know if we make a lotion with this if we do I'm gonna buy a bowl because I really like it it's got a really gorgeous richness warmthness a slight chocolatey hint to it I don't know if it has like amber or or something along those lines but it's, it smells so good i've actually been wearing this every day for about a week and a half i've only i've only had it for like a week and a half but I'm wearing it every day since i've gotten it and then lastly we have my body lotions um i do also have i don't have all of them down here but i do also have a lotion from the luck limitless for her and illuminata i've got both those lotions we have a lotion from little black dress one from far away so i've just been kind of using this as my far away fix for the moment we have a rare amethyst and far away rebel so those are all my perfumey type avon products i have at the moment and i actually do have another thing i do have our new men's front men's scent Segno but I don't know where it is at the moment but it is it is lush it's like a it's like a sophisticated version of a lynx scent if that makes sense like it's got that it's like that boyfriend you had in school that used to wear lynx and then he grew up that that's what Segno is anyways I will leave this here try and waft away all this perfume my nose actually kind of stings a little bit now from smelling all that perfume and i will see you guys in my next video i might do the skincare portion next um because i did pick up quite a bit of skincare and i've been enjoying it so um <laughs> we'll see that in the next video thank you guys so much for watching um if you want any more information on anything i am going to be sort of putting making um sort of scent profiles for my blog really really soon and um i will link it in the info box they won't be up when this video goes up but they will be so just add the video to like your blog lo blog loving feed or your rss feed is it called an rss feed anymore whatever whatever feed you use to track blogs on add it to that and you'll get little scent profiles coming up as i get to them so thank you guys so much for watching um if there's any other scents you want to recommend me that I haven't tried yet, let me know and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye!